Okay, guys, welcome to my second meal with what I'm calling my pantry finds. So since I'm leaving, I can't, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm going to eat what I have and I'm going to make stuff. So it's early this morning before I work out because I opened my big mouth and I promised my folks at work I was going to bring some stuff. So I've decided that I forgot that I have some empanada discs. So I'm going to make breakfast empanadas. I've never done this. So I have here my eggs, put a little milk in it. I haven't put in the season yet. I have a little bit of spinach. I have some mushrooms in the can. This is all stuff that's been here. Y'all know I'm bougie. I have my truffle, minced black truffle. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. Got my little seasoning. Y'all can see my little seasonings that I always use with everything. I got a little bit of, uh, just a teeny bit of onions and a little bit of white cheese because I just have this thing about, you know, spinach should not be with yellow cheese. So we're going to mix on up. I'm going to put a little teeny bit, just a little bit of this in here because the, um, the truffle, the minced truffle is a, a little salty, so I don't need a lot of this. I'm going to put this in here, and then I'm going to take my minced truffles. Oh, my God. Ooh, it's, ooh, ooh, it's so good. It's almost like minced garlic. It gives it this distinctive taste. I, all I know is I'm on a truffle kick. And when I go to France, I'm about to go find me some truffle. I already found some place to go on the weekend. So we're going to... We're gonna beat this up, scramble this this up really good. The truffle, um, minced truffle tends to clump, so just try to make sure it's not clumped together. Okay, and we're gonna do it like that. And then I'm gonna throw my spinach up in here. I'm just gonna throw it all up in here. Okay, and I'm gonna throw my onions up in here. I'm just gonna throw that all up in here. And for those of you that like black pepper, you could throw that up in there too. I'm not a big black pepper fan, so I don't really have to have it. Mix that up a little bit up in here. Okay, because we're going to scramble these bad boys. And then I'm going to put some mushrooms from the can up in here. And I love me some mushrooms, especially when it comes to mushrooms and onions together. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to save some of that because I'm going to use that for another dish. Okay, so now our eggs are all... Ooh, looks so good. All right, okay. So now we're going to get the, front, the pan together to scramble, but I need to get another one because this is the one that I'm going to use to actually make the empanada. So be back. So while I'm waiting for my, my frying pan to warm up, I'm going to take the empanada discs, which you guys know I, I love, which is my Goya. Just makes it easy. I used to make them from scratch. Not anymore. And as you can see, I didn't buy them because they were in a plastic bag like this because I already had them. And I'm only going to make about four of these. So I'm just going to kind of like, I let them sit at room temperature, kind of just flatten them out a little bit more so that the crust around the edges aren't so hard. Because then we're going to fill these and then we're going to fry them. And we're back. And so we're going to... Scramble our eggs. Right. I could turn that heat up a little bit. Get that going. I might have to break up some of the spinach a little bit with my fork. If I can. Ooh, I can smell the truffle. Ooh, I can smell the minced truffle. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. And y'all. I got this fantastic bottle that I put in everything now of the minced black truffle at Home Goods. If you want to get good truffle stuff, truffle oil too, oh yeah, Home Goods is the place to go. Not TJ Maxx. I know it's the same company. Home Goods and go in their gourmet section. So we're going to scramble up these eggs because we'll put these inside the empanada shells. 
turn this up a little bit, cook a little faster. While that's cooking, I also have my my pan with my oil. And a little trick is I put shortening in my oil whenever I'm frying anything. And number one, it tends to not make it as greasy and it just gives it a really nice brown color. Like, you know, when you're frying chicken, when I do fried chicken, I absolutely put vegetable shortening, mix it in with the vegetable oil. So we're gonna scramble up these bad boys. All right, good, let's go. Scramble them up. And once we're finished, we're gonna put them in the empanada disc. Okay, eggs are fried up. They look really good. Really, I, I'm not showing y'all me this morning because uh, I just really got up. I just couldn't sleep with the excitement and I gotta work out, so I look a hot mess. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna put that, some eggs in the middle of the empanada shell. You don't want to overstuff it too much because then you're not going to be able to fold it. Get that mushroom there in the middle. I need another mushroom up in here. Okay. And then I just add cheese. I always have fufu -fu shishi cheese. I don't even know what it is, but I believe in white cheese with um, spinach. I don't know why. I think yellow cheese with spinach would be gross. And then as I've showed you guys before, then you're going to fold it over like that and then you're going to actually take your fork and this is how you're going to seal it but at the same time you know it gives it that little look so this is how you're going to seal it okay and see it's all sealed Remember, I told y'all I've never tried it with the eggs and the breakfast, so let's hope and pray that this bad boy come out good and it tastes good. So there we got one. So now I might have some extra eggs. That's going to be on the side. Ooh, breakfast with my court crew this morning. Put that there. And then again, I'm going to throw in some cheese. I think that's white cheddar. And then I have some other kind of fufu shishi cheese. Now, my behind them put it on top of the plastic that I kept on the damn empanada before I rolled it out. Look at me, crazy. That's all right, dump it right just like that. Boop. Okay, so now that's in there. We're gonna fold this over again. And then we're going to seal the edges with the fork. And because I've had these in the freezer, some of the edges are a little hard, so that's why I kind of rolled it out. And I'm pressing down on it to make sure that it doesn't pop up when, or pop open when I put it in the oil. So there we go. Extra sealing, like see right here, it's gonna be open. So I'm gonna have to like stick the fork in it and just really press it to close. At this point, I don't care what it looks like. I just need it to fry right. Okay. Alrighty. And there we go. And now we're going to get it ready to see if the oil is hot enough and we're going to fry these bad boys. And here we go. <clears throat> I use my small pot, so I'm only going to do one at a time. But you can put a couple at a time. So we're going to fry up this empanada, put it in there. Make sure it doesn't stick. You can already see what's going on with the with the frying of the empanada. You just want them a nice golden brown. The eggs are already cooked, so if we can definitely get it nice and brown and then make sure that the cheese that I put in there is melted, then that will be perfect. And then at some point, you just kind of want to make sure this side is cooked. So see, it's still kind of white, so we leave it there. Turn it up a little bit. So we want to check. It's getting nice and brown on that side. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Ooh, yes. And we want both sides to be a nice golden brown. 
and as you can see it's really nice it's not burning I don't know why don't ask me I'm not a scientist but adding the shortening to the vegetable oil or whatever oil you may use really just I don't know it does something about that nice golden brown that's probably why our people back in the day used lard to fry stuff and not use vegetable oil but for me it works you do you I do me so I'm going to turn it over Ooh, look at that but I want it just a teeny bit more brown just to make sure everything is all nice and cooked up in there We need it to be tanned all over. It's a little pale on that side, so I'm going to flip it over one more time. Oh, there we go. Nice and brown right there. I'd like it like that all over. We missed a little spot there, but that's okay. Yes. And then take a look, make sure we don't want it to be okay. That That's looking pretty good to me. Like I said, the egg's already cooked with the spinach and everything in there, so. Alright, well, let's take this baby out. Okay, so I took her out, put her on a paper towel, did a little cut, just so you guys can see the inside. This bad boy is still hot. Ouch, 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 and ouch. And there, oops, where's my camera? And there you got it. Almost like a, a gourmet hot pocket. But there you go. All that lusciousness. Mm, mm, mm. And there you have it. <clears throat> You're resting to get some of the oil off. And there you have it. Breakfast and pinatas. And yes, I took a bite off camera to make sure. And yes, very tasty. There you go. Alright, check in for the next pantry finds. I got seven more days before I leave.